Hello friends, my name is Internet and welcome to Paper Mario! The Thousand Year Door. Um, I actually had a previous recording of this, but stupid me accidentally deleted the file. So here we are, starting a brand new game like nothing happened. Yep. So that's fun. How are you guys today? Uh, I, th I think I'm doing pretty good. Uh, oh god, this is so slow. Uh. 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 Okay. Yeah, that's me. Luna. Luna Lovegood. I am Luna Lovegood today. Hi. Let's get this party started. I have absolutely no idea where to put my camera, so if it's in the right spot, cool. If it's not, I'm sorry. <coughs> hey, Perry Perry, how's it going, buddy? Mail call! Got the letter. Hey bro, check it out! A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. A letter for me? What do you mean? I'll just read it out to you. How does that sound? It sounds like you're reading my personal letters. I did not say you could. I didn't say you could do that. Ahem! Now let's see here. It's really hard to do. Hmm. Hello there, Mario. I am on holiday, traveling in the Martian Kingdom. <coughs> In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. How are you doing that? You sound just like Princess Peach. Shut up, brother. Let me talk. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Roqueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try and go find the treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I have included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Roqueport. That means you must come. Peach. Okay, brother, would you stop doing that voice? It's very creepy. Yes, I'll stop doing the voice. What do you know? It's true. There's a weather old map in here with a letter. Check it out. Why are we speaking English? I don't know, brother. Paper Mario, the thousand year door! Why thousand? I have no idea. I guess because hundred didn't sound as good and million sounded too much. Oh, I, I don't make the rules. <laughs> Prologue. E excuse me, sir. S please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of is coming to view. Look, that's Rogueport. Oh, we're here already. Well, what do you know? This place is kind of huge. And actually kind of tiny. What the hell? You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. I will do that. Thank you. <coughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by the rough weather. But well, you're not getting a tip. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? Yes, please let me off. This poor service. You, you're kind of an asshole. <coughs> I did tell you about the sword and tell us about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? I've got the princess. The princess Peach. What's that? I'm sorry, you say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, um, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Yes, I'll do that. You're still not getting their tip. Made me late. Princess Peach could be kidnapped now, for all I know. Yes, sir. 
Oh, Lord have mercy. What is going on here? It's this block to save all the bins you've experienced so far. Even if you're... Hmm. Even if your game ends, you can continue it from the last point you saved at. Anytime you find a block like this on your adventure, be sure to save. Save all the game progress up to this point? Yes, please. Saving. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. You're a very creepy woman. Hello. Have you seen Bre Peach? Oi, welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so I have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Because the thing about life is you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. What you want, pal, huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that. No, I'd remember a princess, probably. What do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money or is she your girlfriend? You're a toad. Why are you not in the toad kingdom? You know what that race is. Never mind. Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, come off it, you airhead. I know it's tough for you, but don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good girl and tell us what you know right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right for this happy little lass like you met an un with an untimely demise. Boom, ha, 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 ha. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream. Really? Why is my game running so slow? Oh, what is happening? I could go anywhere with smelly lunatics like you. Hm, not likely. What? What do you think you're doing, Trump? Do you think you could screw up my plans? Hold on a minute. I am not involved in this. Why am I here? What, do we, what is happening? God, it's always something. Looks like I'm going to have to give you a little taste of the old Crump bomb. Oh, God. Why am I being attacked? I just got here. Is this place really this rough? Can't flee this fight. Hey, kitten. Oh, oh, okay. Down you go, then. Down you go, then. You're being an ass. Hey. What's up? Mark how tacky nerd. Battle time, Mr. Ma'am. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay, I'll do that. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't you let up. Fuck off. I know my badge on commands. Okay, my game is running really slow and I don't know why. You've got him on the ropes. Come on, keep welling on him. Okay, yeah, my game is running really slow and I don't know why. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. Yeah, I bet you know, but you get these things called star points when you win battles. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Okay. I got nine starter points. Okay. You got a couple decent shots, and I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means. It's go time! Oh, shit. What is happening? Oh, shit. Punish him! Ah, fuck me. Kids, are you okay? Wait! How did you get out of here? Quick! This way! Holy shit! How did we get out of there? You! What about your loot? Just sneak out of here. What can you say? Sounds good. Let's go. Okay, I gotta try something real quick. Because this is gonna drive me up the damn wall. That should help a lot. Oh, that's so much better. Okay. Now my camera's having issues, but you know what, whatever. Baha! Uh -huh. Stop! Wait, 
Where'd they go, huh? You, Johnson, did you see them? Anyone? Ugh, crud, they bolted. Okay. There we go. Now my camera's working okay. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I have just got to give you a little reward. Mwah. Oh my, I have a good friend. My name's Goombella. I'm a student at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? You kissed a stranger. I'm Mario. Mario? Wait, you mean like the famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. I just kissed a famous dude. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? Yes. Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. I mean, I know the place is called Rogue Fort, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. Legendary treasure? Yes, I'm looking for that too. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Yes. Whoa, 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 bucko. What you got there? I have a map. See? I gave it to me by Princess Peach. Oh my gosh, is that a treasure map? You have to tell me where you got that. I just said the Princess Peach. Princess Peach? What? Like, as in the Princess Peach? Yes, she is my good old friend. I don't believe you, but if you say so. Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. Mm -ho -ho. The boss sends his greetings. How's that road taste, punk? So tell me, Master Mario, what's in the world brings you to this watched little, wretched little berg? Looking for Peach. Hmm. Ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. Intriguing. Yes. Uh, do you know where she's at? You're asking me where Princess Peach is. I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eye off her. <sighs> For a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. Vanished? What do you mean she vanished? You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. I've been at a loss as to what to do. I've been fraught with worry, I tell you. I could find her. Are you okay? But I feel like I'm a bit better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. Now wait a minute. I didn't ask for this task. Why are you telling me I could do it? Now, now wait a second. You're the one that lost the princess. You should look for her. Leave all recline in that inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, in particular if you find her HP running low. Just drop on in. Ho oh, ho, yes. Anyway, a little rest will do. Well, there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Huff, I say. Um, Princess Peach. Did you mean like Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? Yes, didn't we just go over this? Don't you, do you have amnesia? Are you an amnesiac? The princess who always gets stabbed by King Bowser the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec. This is crazy. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map. Yes, I told you this already. Whoa, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and wouldn't find the treasure on her own? That sounds like a possibility. Oh, oh, I know, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll catch up to Princess Peach. That sounds so good. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Gumbella joined your, Gumbella joined your party. Gumbella's abilities, a primer. Press X to get information about nearby people, places, and objects. This is Rogueport Plaza. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's the crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Anytime you press X when there's no one around, I'll tell you about where we are. That's Goomther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. If you press X where there's somebody nearby, I'll tell you about him or her. So, did you get all that? Yes, I did. Uh, you sound just, just, just like, uh, Gumbario. You are exactly the same. Gumbella can give you hints when she answers. So ask her information often. 
And of course, Gumbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She jumps in the air to attack enemies with a nasty head bomb. She can also look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. <laughs> Alright, sugar. Let's do this. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to tell myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. So, keep an eye out. Here's what Professor Frankly looks like. You know I can't read your mind, right? And I'm just looking for another Goomba. I'll assume I'm just looking for an old Goomba. Trying to tell me where stuff is, and I'm just like... I cannot read your mind. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and maybe lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch, you hear? Ah. Switch. Ah! Idiot! You stepped on it! My poor contact lens! I told you not to move! This is not your stupid ears work. What were you thinking? It wasn't my fault. This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. I don't have the money for that. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you buy me a new contact lens. Why would that need to go over there? I do not care. I'm going to go in your house instead. There's nothing in here. I'm just going to go this way. Okay. Yo, I need a contact lens. Welcome, yes, welcome to the Toad Bros Bazaar. I need a contact lens. Eh, what's that? You want a contact lens, you say? Wait just a moment. Okay. <laughs> Gee, fella, I'm sorry, but we don't have any in stock right now. Tough luck, I know. I can special order one right away for you, but it'll take a while. Check back soon, okay? Okay. I'm an elf. Oh, God. Ooh. Let me just get this over with. There we go. Perfect thumb, my nail. Do I have a... This is Rogueport's main square. It's sort of the central shopping area, I guess. There are lots of regular working folk here, but there are also ne'er-do-wells. If you venture into the back alleys, be ready to deal with some nasty sorts. Hey, by the way, Mario, have you saved yet? You see that save block in front of the inn? Since we're here, you ought to save now. Just jump in and hit the save block, okay? How about no? I forgot she'd say that if uh, I had a block. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. Oops, right, me sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Shit, Mario, you gotta wake up. That guy just stole half of your coins. Yeah, oh god, he did. How did he do that? There are a bunch of coins. Ugh, that is so lame. Ugh, I hate this town. Stupid assholes. Going around mugging people and stealing shit? It's so dumb. Watch your mouth. This is a kid's game. What do you mean, watch my mouth? What? Never mind. Best not to explain it. So my Z button pulls up my stuff up here. I know that this is where you went because I've played this before. Yo. Rude asshole. Yups. Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay? You got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Thank you. I don't care to talk to any of you. I wish I could spin. No, I don't want to... can't spin. I'm so sad. <laughs> There's also a thing back here. I believe if I go over here. Hello. Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places and now I'm dead talking for now. You're kind of creepy. I'll just go up here. I got the side of peace. The roach comes back. Go back, the roach goes away. Can I squish? No. Nope. Oh well. All right. No, I don't want to. Eh. 
There's a way to get around this, isn't there? Do, 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 do. I thought there was a way that I could bypass this completely, but I can't remember how to do it. Uh, whatever, let's just do the story. Mm. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. What's that? Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, uh, yes, you now. You, uh, I've seen your face before. Yes, that face. Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Uh, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's not Eliza Goom. Um, um. I got it. Aha! You're Goombella, aren't you? You're in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, junior at you, Goom. Go, Goombas! Of course I remember you. Not to shoot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you were such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... And Mario! Wahoo! Who? Ah, oh, son of a bitch. How do you not know who I am? I mean, uh... Shoot. Yeah. Who? Mar Mario, Professor. He's Mario. You know, the famous one? Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of error brings you to all the way to a place like this? Why do you live in Goom... Why, why do you live in Rogueport? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure set up along below rug be below Rogueport. I'm hoping that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you Tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know the most say it's a li little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in all these fairy tales, though. Y you know I'm not as young as I look, right? I'm like 50. Never mind. Ignore me. Me? I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. Well, in that case, I'll cooperate with you however I can. First of all, about the treasure, there are many mysteries surrounding it. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others still claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divide the truth among them. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. You mean the crystal stars, that old saying that super elderly people pass down? Indeed, the same. As the saying goes, if you want to find a legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the zones of yesterday. Yeah. A lot of the lore I've read said that if this magical map is taken to the doorway, then it'll show you where the crystal stars are. Correct, and the thousand year door is supposedly here, deep beneath this town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. Now wait a minute. But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map. I just volunteered my shit. What? Really? You you actually have it? Could I uh could I just take a quick look at it if 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 you don't mind? Fine, whatever, here you go. Astounding, this is it, the real thing, the one and only magical map. Are you happy now? You son are my hero, you're great, fantastic, wonderful even. With this we can find the crystal stars just by holding aloft the legendary door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here then? Get Bella, Mario. Off we must go this instant. Let's take the magical map to the legendary door. Okay. Let's go. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Alright. You can just use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Okay. Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. What? I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. You two do know about your action commands, do you? Of course. Really? A master, are you? Maybe you ought to practice them once just to be safe? No, thank you. 
A bold young lad, aren't you? Very well then, down we go. Just stand on the pipe and tilt down to enter it. Yeah, I don't care. I I don't need a tutorial. I just played the other game. I I mean, I've been practic. Nope. Eh. Save all game progress up to this point. Saving. Do not touch the memory card in slot A or the power button. Your progress was saved. Cool. Oh wow. Yeah, my camera is in a really weird spot now, isn't it? All right, let me move it. Let's try that on for size. Hey, hey man, what's up? Who's the hottie you got there with you? What's up, baby? Why don't you hang out with us for a while? We play real nice. Man, what a fine-looking goober doing with a tubby mustache man like that. Oh, it is, like, so sweet that you boys think I'm cute. Seriously. Yeah, guys like you make me feel like totally barfing. Now get out of our way. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for us? Come off it, sister. Nobody zings us like that. Nobody. Let's get him. Holy shit, why do you have to fight me? Because she doesn't want to date you. That's just bullshit. I get my I get my spiny goomba and a parent goomba. My, the whole goomba family tree. The only one I should worry about is that fellow in the middle, the spiny goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that and you're the one going to take damage. And the parent goomba's airborne, so your hammer won't reach. You have to jump for him. Anyways, take your opponent. Always take your opponent's situation into consideration when fighting. Always. Okay. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you to attack it. You can attack first if you feel like it, Gumbella. Don't forget that. Okay. Boop. Boop. Ah, uh, I didn't hit the button in time. Ow. Why? Oh yeah, they changed that, I forgot. Uh, it used to be if your partners got attacked, then like they were out for a while, but I forgot they changed it for Thousand Year Door. I completely forgot her to tattle with her. <sighs> That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those in case you hadn't noticed. It says here that Goombas are underlings of underlings. That's totally rude. Their maximum HP is 2, and they have an attack power of 1 and defense of 0. Ha! Bitch. Okay. Cool. Owie! Later! Ha! Later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them and jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as you go into battle. I'll do that, thank you. Can't go this way, but I could go that way. Which way do I want to? Okay, this way. Ooh, ooh, wah -ha. Wah -ha. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh yeah, they uh changed it so you can like actually do attacks for your first strike too, and not just uh hit them with normal attacks. Oh yeah, Paper Mario uh, Thousand Year Door is also the one with the uh, the audience. Awesome. Now normally getting out of these fights faster would be important for me, but like, I want the star points, man. What is this? Let's accept I could blow up later. Shit. Okay. Well. Which one? Yeah, that one. Alright, let's tattle you. 
That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky headed Goomba. What a creative name. And that spike is super pointy, so it's best not to hit it with a hammer than jump. Best to hit it with a hammer than jump on it. Maximum HP is 2, attack is 2, and defense is 0. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Okay, I won't jump on him. First thing I'm upgrading is my FP. Like, for real. You got an item. <clears throat> you got an item. You can use items to attack enemies and replenish your heart points. Press start, pause to choose items from your gear screen to see your items. Who the hell was that talking? Don't, don't worry about it. Fire flower attacks all enemies with fireballs and burns them. Okay, I know I have to go this way, but like I kind of want to see what's over here first. Okay, can't go that way. All right. Hey, what's up, buddy? Oh shit, this dude scared me. Help me, your teeth. Are you dead? Oh. Aw, oh, man. Well, now you're dead. I forgot that the scene can fall down in this one. Shit. Okay. Cool. Okay. Uh, let's switch. And had all these guys. Spinia. Perfect. That's a Spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Max HP is 3, attack is 1, and defense is 0. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee -yah. Okay, I'll do that. Oh, shit. That was just rude. Oh, yeah! She's got her own life in this one. I forgot. Okay, yeah. I remember now. Aw, oh, man. I miss my button sticking. I need to clean this out with alcohol. I'm like... The medical kind, not the good kind. <laughs> All right, let's go this way. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> All right. Okay. Whoa! Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend. Wait, to me? Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. Cool. You see, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this box. I was bummed. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? And Mario, I wrote with you. I'm not exactly confident that we can trust this box. Wait, you can hear him too? I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Drat, I just said it out loud. What's wrong with me? They can hear you too. Oh yeah, searching for the crystal stars, are you? Now you so you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you get those bad boys. So first you should look for the key to this box, then use it to let me out, definitely. By the way, the key looks like this. I cannot see what you're thinking. I'm sorry. Well, what do you think we ought to do, Mario? I say we let him out. I don't care. Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, a great legendary hero. I have the key. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You brought the key? Yes, oh man, I owe you big. Yes, thank <laughs> Thank nothing. <laughs> Fools! 
Oh my! What is happening? Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What? You think I was going to help you? Instead, I'm going to spread a little suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the bricks. I'm going to cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Buggly wuggly woo, you're cursed. Holy shit. Wee <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserve. You want to hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a pro paper airplane. Woohoo! Tripling yet? Except for the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed! This curse is pretty rough, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Okay. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y, and then bam, you're a paper airplane. Okay. The worst part of this curse is that you must tilt left and right to control yourself. I guess if you got good at it, you might fly a little late, but that's the only good thing. So be honest, isn't this curse about just the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Yes, I get it. That's terrible. <laughs> if you press B, you might return to normal. Maybe. Okay. Very well, you foolish fool. <laughs> I think I'm good. Thank you. So, uh, wow, just wow, what was that guy's beef? I don't know, but I can turn into an airplane now, so that's pretty cool. Let's do it. You guys become an airplane with me, that's a pretty cool. Oh, Mario Gabella, look at that. It's the door. It's a thousand year door spoken of in legends. I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. There it is, big as life. Come on, let's move closer. Okay. What if I just leave, though? Would you be pissed off at me? Hey, what's the deal with this weird pedestal, huh? What could it be, you think? I don't know. Let's just stand on it. Holy shit, everything's lighting up. It's shiny. What, what is happening? I don't know. What the fuck? It's very pretty though. This is a lot of detail for an, uh, the GameCube game. Professor, what's going on? The map is a floating. I'm going to print in like I didn't know this was going to happen. Shiny, shiny, sparkle, sparkle, shiny. Uh, the location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map and Mario has learned a special move you can now use sweet treat each time you get a crystal star you'll learn a new special move okay I think I understand what this says I have no idea what I'm reading though Professor, the map, and what's with all those crazy lights? Um, it appears that the information related to the location of the crystal stars has appeared. Yes, yes, I think I understand. And that shining light looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Yes, because I have no idea what this is. Let's go. Just sit there and pretend like I know what I'm doing. Mm, aha, I see. You understand it, Professor? No, of course not. <coughs> I mean, um, my dear, of course I do. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on Mario. By my reckoning, Mario can outperform what is known as a special move. A uh, special move? What do you mean, special? Yes, it, well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No, oh, thank you. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No, thank you. Mm, you're absolutely sure? Well, all right then. Let's have a look at that magical map and see what we can learn about the, uh... Wow, astounding! This map has radar-like functions. It shows the location of a crystal star. 
It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Meadow, Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yeah, that place. Yes, the area is a vast area that lies to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that, that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine. So we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you could get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Yes, I'm a plumber. I know this. By the way, Mario, I'm curious. Where did you get that map anyway? Oh, Princess Peach. For Princess Peach? Really? Her Highness sent this map to you, Mario? Yes, we're actually close friends. Nobody seems to believe in this. Even though I literally save her every time I ever talk to her. This Princess Peach wouldn't be her, would it? Yes, it's that girl. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking you about the same thing. Um, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority is to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars means an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me can handle the trials on the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Okay, let's go. Well, Mario, we're off. Yes, let's get out of here. But first, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next episode of whatever I decide to make. Lunar Knight signing out. 